The Word, presented to you by Brothers United in Christ. The Truth, preached to you as written in the Bible. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Brothers United in Christ, as the brother came out and made an introduction before. As the brother had, had mentioned, we've been on the TV preaching for 10 years now. And our main purpose is first and foremost to preach to the Jew, who is the 12 tribes, to the nation of Israel, who is the 12 tribes right now. They have this so far Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Guatemalans, the North Dominican, American Indians, Seminole Indians, and so forth. Our sole purpose is to begin to gain our people right here to the coming of the Lord. That's what it's all about. Everybody's wondering what's going on in the earth. Why well, come there's so much violence? How come there's so much confusion in the earth? We got the answer. The answer has been with us from, from day one. We came into this captivity with the answer, but it was blocked off from us. So we got to pick it up in the scripture. We got to pick it up at Isaiah 58. Because this is what we're commanded to do of the Lord. See? Bring it up. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. In the house of Jacob, their sins. Right. So the Lord told us to cry aloud, and spare not, lift up thy voice. As you see, us, can't go get a, uh, uh, what is this one? Megaphone. A megaphone to lift up our voice. Full horn. Because we know we got all the traffic, the things, you know, buffling us out. So we really got a full horn, we got to lift up our voice. We gotta cry it out. We gotta show our people our dear transgression. But we gotta start with the Lord's breath. We gotta start with the Lord's breath because that's been neglected heavily in the earth today. So we gotta pick it up with the New Testament because we understand how everyone in the earth is going out of the Old Testament and done away with. So we gotta pick it up. We gotta come straight out of the New Testament. Give it to the Hebrew, brother. Hebrews, four and one. Let us, excuse me, Hebrews 4 1. Let us therefore fear, lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Yeah, praise the Lord. The Lord is talking about a rest. The Most High is talking about a rest. And in this part right here, he said, his rest. So we should therefore fear, lest any of us should seem to, enter, should seem to come short of entering into his rest. What is this rest? We're going to go into that. The first part I want to talk about, I want to build on, is the fear. Because it says, let us fear. If you don't fear the word of the Most High, if you don't fear the Most High, you have no shot of coming into this rest. Pick it up in Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. And this fear is not the fear that we associate in earth today. With, with catching disease, getting sick, losing a job, or, or any fear like that. This fear right here will lift us up. This fear right here will bring us to a gate. This fear right here will have us rule the nation. This fear, read it, brother. Ecclesiastes is one and one. All wisdom cometh from the Lord and is with him forever. Right? Excuse me. All wisdom comes from the Most High and is with him forever. You don't get this wisdom from college. You get a, you get a degree. You get a PhD. You get smart from going to college. This is not about being smart. This is about wisdom. This is what our people lack in the earth today. This is why our people is jacked up, why we see one of our brothers and our sons and our daughters running up and down the street like they're doing today. Because of the lack of wisdom. No wisdom. Check it out. All wisdom coming from the Lord and is with him forever. Who can number the sand of the sea and the drops of rain in the days of eternity? Who, who can do that? The Most High have all that recorded from the days of old. From the first time, he said, let there be light. He recorded all things. Man don't have that number. He tries to throw a number out there, but man don't have an exact. He tries to tell you how far the moon is from the earth, but the man don't have an exact. He tries to tell you about the plants and all, but he don't have an exact. He's guessing. He's guessing. Come on. Ecclesiastes 1 and 3. Who can find out the height of heaven and the breadth of the earth and the deep and wisdom? Boom. These are all questions. Who can do that? Save for the most high. There's not a man in the earth that can do that. The most high. Wisdom has been created before all things. Right. And the understanding of prudence from everlasting. Right. The understanding of prudence. Wisdom has been created before all things and the understanding of prudence. 
an understanding of sound judgment. Yay or nay. Does it go this way or does it go that way? According to the Lord, the Lord said, let your yay be yay and your nay be yay. No gray area. No, 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 no hiding spot. No way to get comfortable. It's either yes or no. Come on. The word of the Most High is the fountain of wisdom. Right. And her ways are everlasting commandments. The ways of the Most High are everlasting wisdom. Are everlasting wisdom. So there's no, there's no coming in and stepping out. It's everlasting. You're going to be built up. You're going to be built up forever until that great and dreadful day. Until you receive salvation by the hand of the Most High. Ecclesiasticus 1, verse 6. To whom hath the root of wisdom been revealed? Or who hath known her wise counsel? Right. Who? Who hath the root of wisdom been revealed? Or who hath known her wise counsel? As we see today, nobody. Everybody jacked up. Everybody's running according to their own imagination. Bring it out, do this, do that, do this, do that. Brothers get into the word, he done got so complacent with the word, they start making up stuff. They start making up stuff. It's crazy, man. The Lord said, remove not the ancient landmarks, man. But we see that amongst the nation of Israel, those that are conscious who they are. Brothers want prestige. Brothers coming up with new things. The word, the wisdom is with the most high. Come on. Ecclesiasticus 1 5, the word of the Most High is the fountain of wisdom, and her ways are everlasting commandments. The ways are everlasting commandments. They, they, you know, they can't be made forward. We understand the wicked, they try to come up with their own law, and they said the law of the Most High was evil. These are everlasting commandments, they don't change. Come on. To whom hath the root of wisdom been revealed, or who hath known her wise counsel? Right. To whom? Who hath been revealed, and who hath known their wise counsel? Who got into it? Who humbled up? Who sincere? Unto whom hath the knowledge of wisdom been made manifest? Definitely not these preachers and these pastors and these church today. They all went to school to get a seminary license to teach lies and teach religion, saying the Lord loves everybody. The Lord loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. The Lord loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Everybody, the Lord don't love everybody. The wicked, they don't have a shot. If that was the case, Christ would have never came, came and died on the cross. It was like that. The most, if anybody can get into salvation, if any and everybody can get salvation the way they are, Christ would have never came. He just left the nation the way they were. The earth was in person like that. And that's not the case. The most I sent Christ to die for the sins of the earth. So everybody can get it right through wisdom. Come on. Ecclesiastes 1 and 7. Unto whom hath the knowledge of wisdom been, manif been made manifest? Come on. And who hath understood her great experience? Who? Who have understood it? The brother said, up until this time, the brother came into this world. We didn't even understand it. We was.